Abby Williams and Libby German were murdered in Delphi more than seven years ago. And tonight we've got new developments in this case. The defendant, Richard Allen, appeared in court for a series of hearings today that will decide what charges Allen will face and whether he'll face any charges at all and whether his attorneys violated court orders. So much to consider there today. And our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel went to the Allen County Courthouse today where they've been arguing their case. And he joins us now live with an update on what happened. Bob. Well, the murders of the teenagers happened in Carroll County, and that's where Richard Allen's trial is going to take place here in eight weeks. But the special judge appointed to the case, she's here in Allen County. Her courtroom's right behind us here at the county courthouse, and that's where the hearings took place today, starting with a major decision. Richard Allen has been facing murder charges and the deaths of the two Delphi teenagers since 2022. But today the judge agreed to add two more murder charges requested by the prosecutor. They are slightly different than the original charges and they give the prosecutor a slightly different avenue to convict Richard Allen, according to legal expert Katie Jackson Lindsay. The state does not have to prove that Richard Allen himself is the killer here. If they can prove that he was involved in or committed a felony that resulted in their death, then in that case, he can still be found guilty of murder. The hearing then switched to whether Richard Allen's attorney should be held in contempt. The prosecutor claims they leaked information and violated the judge's gag order. So today, it was the defense attorneys who were on trial. An attorney brought in to defend them told the judge there was no contempt because Brad Rosie and Andrew Baldwin did not act with willful and intentional disobedience. The hearing was filled with conflict, with Judge Frances Gall snapping and raising her voice at the defense multiple times. Keep in mind, the judge and the defense team have both tried unsuccessfully to get the other kicked off the case. And the animosity between the two sides was evident today as Richard Allen, his family, and the families of the victims watched the hearing play out. Now, no decision today on the contempt issue. The uh, defense, they have another week to be able to file a written final argument, and then the prosecutor has a week to respond to that. So it's going to be sometime next month when we get a final decision. So there was a extra hearing today that we were not anticipating to take place. It was a hearing to determine whether or not to drop all charges against Richard Allen. My colleague Emily Longnecker was in that part of the hearing and right. helped explain what happened there. Well, Bob, that was, you know, that lasted several hours and basically the defense was asking the judge to dismiss all of these charges against Richard Allen based on the fact that video evidence, uh, video uh, interviews that uh, police took early on in those first few days days uh, after the girls' bodies were discovered that that um, video, uh, those video interviews uh, had been taped over. Um, they talked about, they interviewed a gentleman who at the time had been the police chief of Delphi, who now works for the prosecutor's office as an investigator. He talked about how they used a DVR system in those early days where they would flip on a switch outside the interview room, a blue light would go on, people would be interviewed, both people who were maybe potential suspects and also people that came into the police station just with tips. And what was discovered in August of 2017, so several months later, was that those early interviews in those early days were gone. And the defense is saying, look, some of those interviews um, contained information and were possibly with people that yeah. that could exonerate our client. And Emily, was there any decision on that in the no hearing? No decision yet. No, nope. okay. no okay. decision. All right. So we're still waiting on a decision on that. Lots of events happening here in uh, up in uh, Allen County today. We'll have more on the hearings coming up tonight at 11. All right, Bob and Emily, thank you. Reporting live from Allen County. And you can read more about the developments today, including the significance of new charges against Richard Allen. You can use this QR code to get to that story at WTHR.com slash Delphi. Still to